What's going on, fishy friends? Rich here, Rich's Fishes, and welcome to my basement fish room. So anybody who's followed along for a while has probably seen a video or two showing the various tanks down here in my basement. Uh, I've often talked about what an odd shaped room it is, how cramped I actually am in here in between tanks. I don't even know if we can see the discus over here. Actually, the discus are down there. This tank is empty. But hopefully this gives a nice little overview of this one particular side of my fish room. I got my planted 55 gallon tank over here. There's another 55 down below. A couple of 20 highs. We got some plecos in here. Uh, I think a single cory. My albino dantum angelfish over there along with some black neons and some albino plecos. Some of my older discus, my older larger adult discus down here in the 72 bow front. The cold water tank full of platys down there that you can't see. Maybe you can see some of the epistogramma over there. The blue acara up there. Can't see them, but there's some German blue rands in my breeding tank. This is my mo most prolific pair over here with a bunch of fry. I got lots of German blue ram fry in the fish room right now, and I'm uh, eager to keep learning as I go with this. I'll show some more footage of that. What else we got down here? We got my Endler gu guppy colony, the other guppy colony, the other guppy colony, the Crebensis down here, the Pelvica chromis tenatus malawi, and we'll take a look at what else. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm ready for the tour. Get your cameras out, and everybody come follow me. Technical difficulties, that's the power button. Let's try the record button. There we go. All right, so like I said, tight quarters over here. All right, here's an empty doesn't look empty, does it? Doesn't that look like there's an angelfish in there? That angelfish is actually behind me, and that's a reflection. But anyway, up here is my empty 40 gallon. Down here are those discus. Here's the planted tank that I said you couldn't see when I was showing you from that camera. Here's the other tank you probably could see, but not well. There's that pleco I talked about. Well, actually, I talked about the Cory. There's a couple of plecos. Where'd the Cory go? Here are those albino dantum angelfish. There are two in particular out of this batch here that I think are really beautiful examples. That one there on the right, if you would turn and show me his profile, he's not gonna... And I think it's this one also. They're all beautiful fish, but two are uh, a little bit nicer than the rest, I would say. But I think the biggest thing to talk about since my last update, other than that epistogramma right there, is the German Blue Ram breeding. So up here in this 17 gallon tank is where, I don't remember exactly what I had showed in the last video, but we talked about the breeding pair that are housed in this tank that breed very, very, very regularly for me, every 10 days. Uh, I've had eggs here January 28th, February 6th, February 16th, so on and so forth. And here is one of the more recent batches that have been free swimming for a couple of days now. This is one of the larger batches to make it this far. Um, I am finding quite a die-off within the first 10 to 12 days or so of the fry being free swimming, closer to that 10 to 12 day mark than at the very beginning. Uh, these fish have been free swimming a couple of days now since the third, so this is only their uh, third day free swimming, unfortunately. So I don't expect that this entire group will survive. But that doesn't mean I can't get a nice number of fish that might survive out of this batch. And I've yet to do my water changes down here. Uh, next to them is another batch of fry. These have been free swimming since March 24th. So these are much closer to being out of that dangerous uh, two-week zone. And you can see there's far fewer 
surviving fry. There's at least a dozen in this particular batch. There was a batch next to it. I've got notes here on the tank that say 38, 310, 313 and 314 and there's no dipping pour container there because there are no longer any fry that survived from that particular batch unfortunately some of the endlers there's some of those crebenzas this is the uh, technically i guess it's a wild form crebenzas they're not wild caught fish but it's the pelvic acromis tenatus malawi which is a little bit different than the standard pelvic acromis pulcher i think that most of the Crebenzas you find in the stores are. I do find that it's very difficult to find these fish in this tank until you throw in some food. And I don't have my food handy. But we'll, uh, we'll revisit these at another time. More of these guppies. Let's go see some more rams over this way. So over here in this container are my very first and second batch of ram fry that I've been able to intervene with and artificially rear. Let's see if I can't get these out of the way. These guys were free swimming since the very end of January. So they're roughly two months old. Um, I honestly think they should be a little bit bigger by now. I might be doing a disservice by my feeding schedule. Typically, I'm only able to feed the fry once a day, which I know is not ideal. Uh, I might need to figure out a way to change that soon. But these guys are probably going to get moved from this tank down into this tank that's awaiting them. While I do heat my fish room, I did add a heater into this particular tank just to make sure I can maintain temperatures correctly. Now that the spring weather is here, uh, the boiler in my, in my basement isn't firing quite as often as it was over the winter when the entire house was looking for heat. So while I do heat the fish room itself down to about 85 degrees, I think over the winter it was running a little bit hotter just from the heat radiating off the boiler every time it was firing for the rest of the house. So I'm finding the room's a couple of degrees colder now that we're getting a little bit warmer weather outside. That's the male from another breeding pair of rams. That's a male German blue ram, and the female is an electric blue German blue hybrid up there. These two are not breeding nearly as regularly. Um, let's see, they started out on a 10-day cycle and didn't continue that way. But I am using their tank to help raise out some fry from other spawns. This is the f second batch of fry that resulted from the gold rams that I bought from Discus Madness. I since have lost both parents. And the tank is a little too dirty to focus on these guys right now, isn't it? But that's the fry that have been free swimming since uh, March 8th. So they're roughly a month old and need to get moved out of this container and into a bigger container. This is a batch that just laid eggs for me the other day. It doesn't look like there's that many wigglers on the bottom of the container. And actually, there's quite a few eggs that fungused over and fell off the stone. But there are some wigglers. This is another batch of the fry over here. Again, they'll need to move up and out sooner or later. A couple more batches of fry over here. This, this tank here looks like it has a big cloud of dead fry, unfortunately. And these fry are at roughly the 10 day mark, and that's right where I tend to end up losing a bunch. Which is really unfortunate, but hopefully practice will pay off, patience will pay off, and uh, hopefully I'll keep getting a little bit better at this. Next to them is a very, very, very small batch. There's very, very few fry in here. Um, the camera doesn't even want to focus on them. It wants to focus on everything else behind them because the fry are too small. But you can sort of see a couple of fry in here in this container. This was a batch that came from this pair over here on the left of this tank. This pair on the right over here in this tank has not spawned for me yet. He's not sitting on eggs now, is he? No. But uh, this, this pair down here 
it spawned two or three times in a row, really uh, in close succession. Um, three or four days apart, and, and you know, the first batch, you know, she looks like she's fleshing a little bit there. What's going on? I gotta keep a good eye on that. I also have to clean this tank. Well, I have been doing water changes. What I've been doing is just letting this tank uh, fill and overflow. I haven't actually siphoned up any of the mulm in the past couple of days. Same up here in this tank. I've really let the mulm acquire. So I have a couple of these dark rams. These are black rams that I got from Tom from Coral Bandit. They have spawned for me once or twice, but I have not been able to intervene and pull their eggs because every time they spawn, it's back there in that round flower pot, which is too big for me to put into an alternate container. I might have to figure out a way to do that no matter what next time, or just be smart about it and pull these flower pots out of the tank. And over here, we got one, two, three, and there's a fourth container back there with my older ram grow outs. Oh, grow outs. They're still fry for all intents and purposes. Uh, we're looking at fry from my electric blue rams in this container. Next to them over here are some of the regular German blue rams. Very difficult to see, maybe from up top. And down on them. Back there are more German blues on the bottom, and I believe these are golds up top. I'd have to check. I do have a tag around on the corner. There's another pair over here. That has been spawning for me. Uh, I wouldn't say regularly yet. They've spawned two, maybe three times total. I've taken to using this larger saucer over here, even though it doesn't fit very well in the tank, but it's really easier for me to pull that and intervene. It's my only male Apisto up here. Oh, too close. Sorry, buddy. And some of these other epistogramma over here are coloring up real nice. All right, guys, I think that's about all the time I got for updating right now. I gotta get back to work, start cleaning fry tanks, prepping some baby brine shrimp, make sure I can feed all the fry and get brine shrimp ready for tomorrow's batch of feedings. And I'll try to update everybody again soon. Later, guys.